Cole Palmer is living the dream at Chelsea and is starting to make his mark in the Premier League and in Europe. Cole Palmer is an English professional football player who is used as an attacking midfielder or forward for Premier League side Chelsea. Palmer joined Manchester City at the age of eight and significantly impressed throughout his time in the youth academies. He captained the Manchester City under 18s in the 2019-20 season and helped lead the citizens to league and cup glory. His impressive performances caught the eye of manager Pep Guardiola who moved him to the fringes of the first team squad in the 2021-22 season. He played 14 times in the Premier League during the 2022-23 season as Guardiola's side won a third consecutive title, and was an unused substitute during their Champions League final victory over Inter in Istanbul. Palmer scored a spectacular goal at Wembley in the team's 1-1 draw with Arsenal in the 2023-24 Community Shield, a match they went on to lose on penalties. He was also City's scorer in the Super Cup draw with Sevilla in Athens in August 2023 which ended in a victorious penalty shootout. On transfer deadline day, Chelsea signed Palmer on a seven-year contract paying an initial £40 million with an additional £2.5 million in possible add-ons. As captain, Palmer was the standout star in the club's league and cup double success in the 2019-20 under-18 season. He scored 16 and assisted 7 in 20 games. On the inaugural day of the season he opened his account with a brace during a 4-0 win over West Bromwich Albion. Palmer would go on to score six in the next four fixtures. A hat-trick was later to come in the season during a 7-0 battering of Sunderland and a crucial goal against Liverpool would be the cherry on top in a triumphant title-winning campaign. Not only did the youngster achieve league glory, but also 2025 Youth Cup success. Man City defeated Swansea, Fulham and Blackburn on the way to the final where they beat Chelsea 3-2. Palmer set up James McAtee's equaliser and scored the winner. After his success during the 1920th season, Palmer was invited to train with the Man City first team as he prepared for life under Guardiola. Palmer featured on the bench for the first time during Man City's second game of the 2020-21 Premier League campaign against Leicester City. Point three days later, Palmer made his Man City first team debut in a 3-0 EFL Cup win against Burnley. Despite failing to feature further in the EFL Cup and in the league, Palmer played the last eight minutes of a Champions League group match against French side Marseille. It would be his last appearance in the first team that season. In the 2021-22 season, Palmer made his Premier League debut against Norwich in August, before featuring in wins against Burnley and Everton, where he made his first start. His first senior goal came against Wickham Wanderers in the EFL Cup third round as he added the sixth and final goal to a well-rounded victory. And if you thought it couldn't get any better for Palmer, he would go against all expectations and score in the Champions League. In October netted his first Manchester City goal in the Champions League. After being subbed on for Kevin De Bruyne in the 65th minute, Palmer added City's fourth, two minutes later, in a 5-1 win against Club Brugge. A curling effort from outside of the box that nestled into the back of the net. Palmer made further strides in the 2022-23 season, playing 14 times in the Premier League and earning a winner's medal as Guardiola's side won a third consecutive title. He was also an unused substitute during their Champions League final victory over Inter in Istanbul and picked up an FA Cup winner's medal too. He began the 2023-24 season by scoring a spectacular goal at Wembley in the team's 1-1 draw with Arsenal in the Community Shield, a match they went on to lose on penalties. He was also City's scorer in the Super Cup draw with Sevilla in Athens last month which ended in a victorious penalty shootout. But that would be his last action in a City shirt, as Chelsea came knocking for his services on transfer deadline day. On September 1, 2023, Chelsea completed the signing of the 21-year-old Palmer on a seven-year contract for an initial £40 million with an additional £2.5 million in possible add-ons. City had been keen to keep Palmer but were ultimately persuaded to part with by the size of Chelsea's bid. I'm excited to get started and it feels great to sign, 
Palmer told the Chelsea website. I've joined Chelsea because the project here sounds good and because of the platform I will have to try to showcase my talents. It is a young and hungry squad and, hopefully, we can do something special here. Palmer made his Chelsea debut from the bench in a surprise 1-0 home defeat to Nottingham Forest. Palmer has featured for England under 15s all the way to under 21 level. He has played four times for the U21s, in which he has scored twice, once on his debut against Kosovo and his second in a 2-2 draw against Slovenia. Palmer was part of the successful England U21 squad that won the 2023 European Under-21 Championship. He scored in the semi-final win over Israel. Palmer was thought to be too small to make it in professional football and never convinced Pep Guardiola, but he has since found a home under Mauricio Pochettino at Stamford Bridge. Youth matches involving Manchester City usually attract plenty of onlookers from far and wide scouts, managers, coaches, parents and to those watching on the touchline one afternoon something stood out about 14-year-old Cole Palmer. Well, a few things stood out about Cole Palmer, his exquisite technique and technical ability, a tactical awareness so acute for someone so young. But aside from the football, what stuck out was how baggy the light blue jersey was on him, how it hung lower beneath the waist than the others, was wider and longer on the arms. It seems hard to believe now, aged 21 and standing at 6 feet 2 ins, but he was always one of the smallest players in Manchester City's and England's youth teams. It is something that Kevin Betsy, England under-15s then under-16s head coach in his first two years with the national team, remembers about watching Palmer for the first time when he starred for City in an under-14s tournament at Warwick University. The event, held over a couple of days, featured leading academies from around the country, plus a selection invited from abroad including Ajax and Porto, bringing together the most talented young players in Europe. Palmer won player of the tournament and was later invited to join the England youth teams at under 15. However, in the eyes of some city coaches the height deficit coupled with the intensity of competition in Manchester City's academy was an issue. Unable to rely on brute force Palmer had to find clever ways to keep the ball, to use his smaller frame smartly, to understand and manipulate his center of gravity something that has clearly shaped the way he plays today. It is knowledge and skill that was drilled into Palmer by his dad on patches of grass at Holly Edge and East Avenue Park, not far from their house in Wythenshaw, when Palmer was only five years old. Like most children, Palmer would want to set up a makeshift goal and shoot all day. But Father Germain a pub football legend would hurl the ball high in the air for Palmer to control and protect it, again and again. No point trying to shoot if you can't keep hold of the ball in the first place, Germain would tell his son. While Palmer sees himself as an attacking player, he is extremely versatile, playing as a striker, a winger, a number 10 and even a deeper-lying central midfielder for England on the way to winning the under-21 European Championship. Pochettino considers him an excellent link player, believing his ability to play in midfield and understanding of that side of the game complements his attacking talents. He also sees his unpredictability as a major strength. In the recent 4-4 draw with Manchester City, had Palmer not been denied by an excellent Ederson save he would have scored one of the goals of the season after dribbling through City's defence with those skills perfected as a tiny team. Then the lad who once lacked confidence scored a penalty deep in stoppage time to secure a draw against his former club. This time there were no arguments about who would take. In fact, Despite their mini row, among the senior players Sterling was Palmer's closest confidant at City helping him settle in with playful jokes, making him feel like one of the lads, while also offering advice on his own career, how he had broken through young, open to questions. He has been a key ally in Palmer making such an extraordinary start to life at Chelsea. Thank you for watching this video.